What's poppin' y'all? <laughs> Welcome back to the Diamond Show. <laughs> y'all excited, huh? Yeah, I know, I know. I miss y'all too. I just wanted to say, it's early here, so, oh hi y'all, how do you make my stay? Watashiwa Diamond Des, which is good morning, nice to meet you. My name is Diamond, or I am Diamond. <laughs> and you're probably wondering, what is she saying? She's so mysterious, huh? <laughs> no, I, I'm speaking Japanese. Yeah, right? You're shocked, are you shocked? You should be, because I am too. Tell me why. I have always wanted to go to Japan. I've always wanted to learn Japanese. And it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. Like I've been watching anime since I was in high school, but I didn't really get a good grasp of the culture until I got into college. My university was very diverse, so we had people from all over the world. And I met these foreign exchange students inside of what we call the bucket, which is basically the university hub where you go get food, you eat, you get beer. At the time I wasn't old enough to drink and I don't drink beer anyways. But there were foreign exchange students there and I got my degree in international business because I'm just so fascinated with everybody's culture. So they were so excited, they came from Japan and they're like, try this Kit Kat, try this Kit Kat. It's a tea Kit Kat, green tea. I'll never forget it. Man, I tasted that. So not good. <laughs> it was not good, but the way that I reacted, like, oh my god, this is so good. They were so excited and so happy for me to try it, and they were just so happy to be in America and meet new people. And I just felt so like in awe of them because they had all these big dreams, this goals, this drive, and it was just fascinating. They told me about their homeland and all the different things that they did in Japan versus what they do over here. So since then, I've been kind of fascinated with it, wanting to learn more, but I told you guys in my last video that I'm going to stop lying to myself. Sorry. <laughs> and I'm literally going to do everything that I say I wanna do and I desire. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to sign up and take classes and learn Japanese because I have wanted to learn for a long time. So here I am today, after all these years, I met them when I was 20 in college. I'm 25 now. So after five years, I'm finally ready. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just so excited. I am just so excited. And it's been the funnest thing. I found my tutor on Preply, so it's a website. He's cool, he's very chill, and he learned English in his older years. So I think he was 26, he learned English. And he was saying that it's it makes him happy that I want to learn because he learned around the time that I learned and it's a little harder for you to learn languages when you're an adult but he said that my pronunciation is good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta brag a little bit, you know, you know. But he said my pronunciation is good so that made me very happy and he's like, I know you can learn it. I learned it in about five years but you seem very consistent. I have a tutor session with him three hours a week. I'm about to learn, baby. And I had this on my bucket list as well, to go to Japan and have a fluent conversation with somebody in Japanese. And so this year, I'm going to go to Japan. I've been saying it, I'm going to do it. It's happening. And I'm really excited to see how much I grow before I actually get to go there. So I'm really looking forward to it, y'all. And I felt really good too, because it's something that I've put on pause for a very long time. And to finally be like, I'm gonna go for it. I spend all my money on other things anyways, you know, like Amazon. I don't even think about buying stuff on Amazon. Not even a little bit. But when it comes to purchasing things that I really wanna do that cost a lot of money, I question it. And I shouldn't do that because I should put me first, right? Things on Amazon can wait. Literally, I don't even need half the stuff I buy. I don't need half the stuff I buy. I got a package every day at the front door. And when I just think about the longevity of how great it'll be for me to know more than one language, for me to experience something new. It just felt like a breath of fresh air, like while wow, I'm really making myself proud and doing the things that I told myself I would do. It's such a humbling and pure feeling to feel that way about yourself. So I'm so happy I did it. I'm so happy I'm doing it now. And I just highly encourage anybody that's saying they wanna learn a new language, they wanna travel, they wanna do this, they wanna do that, just do it. Think about it like a purchase on Amazon. Just buy it. Don't even, 
don't think it through just buy it it'll be there for you immediately you'll immediately feel the reward of doing something that you said you wanted to do for yourself for a very long time i promise pal i promise anyways that's a quick little update on my life we're still on the road to 100k subscribers so make sure you like and you subscribe and i will be back again for another update love you pals bye Mwah!